In this video, I am going to show you how to make your sound better using Audacity Real-Time Effects. Audacity Real-Time Effects is a new introduction from version 3.2.0, but when it was first introduced, it was not working very well. Because Audacity Real-Time Effects works well with third-party plugins. During that time, good and compatible third-party plugins were not available. But that issue is solved now. You can add real-time effects from the effects tab. Go to add effect and you can see the vendor names of your third-party plugins. I'll be using some Muse FX effects to make this sound better. But you will not have this Muse FX effects. To get these effects, click on get more effects. You will be taken to a Audacity manual page. This page has guidelines how to use third-party plugins with Audacity. You will also get links to other third-party sites from where you can get some plugins that works well with Audacity. Our interest will be on the plugin suites. Click on the Muse FX. Muse FX offers some plugins like Compressor, DSR and EQ FX. These effects can make your sound better and you can get from Muse FX for free. The good thing about Muse FX plugins is it works very well with Audacity. Previously other third party plugins especially the paid plugins were not working very well when Audacity released its real-time effects, but Muse Hub has solved that issue. Click on Muse Hub. This is the Muse Hub sites and you can get a Muse Hub helper app for Windows, Mac and Linux. Choose your OS and download and install this music helper. I already have downloaded and installed this, so I'll open the app. When the app is launched, you will get an icon. Click on the icon and then click on the effects. You will see all the available effects available from Muse Hub. You will mainly see the get buttons on the plugins. As I have downloaded all the plugins, I see a tick mark. So you download all the plugins, click on the get and it will be downloaded. When the plugin gets downloaded, restart your Audacity. I'll go back to Audacity. To make your sound better, actually two plugins from Muse Hub will do the job. One is Compress and another one is Reverb. I'll make a duplicate of this track and later compare with the improved one. Click on the track where you want to add real time effects and add effect. So I have added the compress effect and clicking on the effect name will bring this pop up. This pop up is the configuration for that effect and there are some presets on this effect. You can play the audio and switch between these presets and check how it is sounding. Also, if you think that effect is doing too much or too little, you can adjust the knob. From factory presets, you can get to the default state. I'll play and listen how it is working with the compress effect. Audacity is the best free software for audio editing and recording. Though there are a couple of other softwares which is free, but Audacity is the easiest one to use. You can practice your audio recording and editing in Audacity and when you are used to this software, you can move to a more complex software. For Mac, you, have, you, for Mac, you also have the option of GarageBand and if you think about some paid software, then you can choose Adobe. I think for Compress, the pop vocals is working best. I'll close this pop-up. Closing the pop-up does not mean the effect is not working. The effect is working as long as the blue icon before the effect appears. If you click on it, it will turn gray and then it is off. I'll keep the compress effect on. I will add another effect, EQ. There are two options, Pro EQ and Simple EQ. If you are comfortable configuring Pro EQ, you can use that or you can use the Simple EQ. I'll use Pro EQ. Like the compress effect, it also has a set of presets. So you can play and listen to how it sounds. When both the compress and pro EQ is present, then both the effects will be working on the audio same time. Audacity is the best free software for audio editing and recording. Though there are a couple of other softwares which is free, but Audacity is the easiest one to use. You can practice your audio recording and editing in Audacity and when you are used to this software, you can move to a more complex software. Okay, I feel the audio sounded crispier when I use both the Compress and Pro EQ. 
you can add other effects if you want for example you can add the reverb reverb has a vocal booth preset which can take away some of the sound reflections if you had that in your recording i'll use the vocal booth however you may have noticed one thing after applying all these effects the sound has become better but also the noise is louder the sample i am showing you have two kinds of noise one is the white background noise some kind of hissing and other is some kind of irregular background noise like some birds sound or traffic sounds so the birds sound or traffic sounds actually i cannot do much with audacity for those sounds but the hissing noise can be removed using the audacity noise reduction i wish musefx will add a plugin which can take care of the noise reduction though it has a noise gate but noise gate is not very well suited for a strong hissing noise because it will remove the hissing noise from the silent parts but the noise will be back on the spoken words so switching off and on the noise actually doesn't give very smooth experience as long as no real time noise reduction plugins is available you can use the audacity built in noise reduction i prefer a valve of 6 on all the sliders for noise reduction you may notice another thing as we had added the compress pro eq and reverb the waveform has not changed the waveform is actually changed but it is not reflecting here when i export this audio you can see that the waveform is changed this is the audio i'll drag it to the audacity so you can see the waveform is changed in the bottom track the sound of this track is same as the track i have applied the effects let's listen Audacity is the best free software for audio editing and recording. Though there are a couple of other softwares which is free, but Audacity is the easiest. So you see, it is the same audio. If you are wondering how much better the sound has become, I will switch between the improved sound and the original sound, and you will understand the difference. Audacity is the best free software for audio editing and recording. Though there are a couple of other softwares which is free, but Audacity is the easiest one to use. You can practice your audio recording and editing in Audacity, and when you are used to this software, you can move to a more complex software. For Mac, you have for Mac you also have the option of GarageBand, and if you think about some paid software, then you can choose Adobe Audition or Isotope RX. There are I guess now you have a clear understanding on how the real time effects works. If you do not want any of the effects, then you can click on that and click on no effect, then that effect will be removed. You can also add the same effects multiple time through real time effects. Thank you for watching and see you next.